Uh, I'll get to the Nigerian scams in a moment, but first this. A Kansas judge has tossed out the state's voter ID law, no need to show proof of citizenship during voter registration. Joining me now, Derek Schmidt, Kansas Attorney General. A setback for you, sir. Well, we're disappointed. The Secretary of State's office in Kansas has been handling this case, so we're going to have to come up to speed now that it's appellate time, and the Attorney General's office will review how we proceed from here, but uh, not the outcome we'd hoped for. So as of now, I can front up to vote, uh, register to vote, and uh, I don't have to show my passport, American passport, or anything else. Just, I'm here. That's it? Essentially, that's right. The state statute that was passed with huge bipartisan majorities in our legislature that required some documentary proof of citizenship yeah. uh, is now on hold and enjoined by federal court order. Now, uh, I wanted to deal with that quickly to bring on this. Everybody's heard about these Nigerian scams or the Nigerian prince can give you millions in inheritance money. That scam happened to somebody in your state and you are you're getting the money back. That is unheard of. Tell us how you're doing it. Well, that's why we love consumer protection work when it's done right, going after crooks and frauds. And uh, unfortunately, we hear about all these scams, the Nigerian scam and the grandparents scam, and we all sort of roll our eyes and say, who really falls for that? But the truth is the bad guys keep doing the same thing because it's working. They're making money. We had a happy story with one gentleman. Uh, there was a settlement, multi-state federal settlement with Western Union a couple of years ago. Uh, where Western Union had been, uh, we alleged, involved in some of the scams or at least turned a blind eye, and they agreed to pay refunds to people who were ripped off, wired the money to the scammers, um, and then filed a claim for refunds. And uh, we went out and beat the bushes in Kansas, so we searched for people. We mailed 25,000 letters to Kansans who had wired money by Western Union in order to get to that small number whose wire transfers were scams. And uh, we got a lot of money back, about a million seven for about 350 Kansans. And the, the, the headliner was a gentleman who had lost $110,000 to the Nigerian print scam. Uh, and he's going to get that money back. Tell me again, who did you get the money back from? Was it the Nigerians? This money came back from money set aside by Western Union. Uh -huh. And that's why this was allowed, this was able to work in this case. Of course, once the money is wired overseas, uh, it's almost impossible to track it down and get it back. Right. Right. In this case, because of the middleman and uh, having been involved, uh, there was a pot of money we were able to go and, and get this fellow his money back. Did, I've got 30 seconds. Did you ever find out why this particular gentleman wired $110,000 to, to Nigeria? He was trusting. He was approached he by was. the scammers. They yeah. told him they needed his help in order to get some money moved on shore. He trusted them, helped them, even went so far as to show up at the airport to meet them. Oh, and wow. when they didn't show up, he knew he'd been ripped off. <laughs> Sir, that is an astonishing story. Never expected to hear anything like that ever. But Derek Schmidt, AG Kansas, congratulations, sir. You did it. Thank you very much for joining well, us. <laughs> thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs>